Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to monitor Redis with Prometheus and Grafana. So let's start. So as you can see here, first of all, so here, first of all, we need a prerequisite. So first prerequisite is we need AWS account with the Ubuntu instance and we need a basic knowledge of AWS services, Prometheus and Grafana. So let's start to monitor Redis with Prometheus and Grafana. So that's why first of all, we need to install Redis on Ubuntu. So here, as you can see, I have successfully launched my instance and I have successfully connected to my instance. As you can see, it's the Ubuntu instance, okay. So let's clear the screen first. So here, first of all, we need to install Redis. So first of all, we need to update our system package, right? So I'm going to run this command to update my system package. So as you can see, it's done. So it's done, we have successfully updated our system package. Now the next step is we need to install, uh, download the package using curl command. So it's also done. Next step is here we need to add the GPG keys. Okay, after that let's update our system package to update this packages so as you can see it's updating okay it's done now i'm going to clear my screen first and after that here let's install the radius using this command so i'm going to install my radius so yes i want to install so as you can see it's installing radius on ubuntu okay it's done. So now I'm going to clear my screen first. Okay. After that, now it's time to install Prometheus on Ubuntu. So as you can see, first of all, we need to download the latest version of Prometheus from this repository. So I'm going to download from using wget command. Okay. So it's done. After that, we need to extract this file that we have downloaded, right? If I run the ls command, as you can see this file. So we need to extract this file. So as you can see, it's extracted. Okay. Now I'm going to clear my screen. And if I run the ls command, now it can see the extracted folder, right? Okay. After that, now we need to navigate this extracted file. So that's why we need to insert this folder. So I'm going to run this command to insert the folder. Okay. After that, you can see we need to navigate this particular location. And this is where typically system D unit file is located. So that's why I'm going to insert this location. Okay. And now if I run the ls command, as you can see the files and folders, okay. Now after that, we need to create a service file, which service file, Prometheus service file. And here in this service file, we need to add this data into it. So let's copy the data and let's paste in Prometheus service file. So, okay. So let's uh, save this file for save, escape colon wq exclamation and enter okay so it's done so we are successfully create our service file which service file prometheus service file so after that we need to reload the service then after that we need to enable our prometheus service okay and now let's start the prometheus service okay now, if you want to check the status of your Prometheus, then you can run the command status. So as you can see, it's active running. That means we have successfully installed Prometheus. So as of now, we have successfully installed Redis and we have successfully installed Prometheus. Okay. Now it's time to access Prometheus in browser. So how to access? So copy your instance IP and hit on browser and Prometheus port number is 90. So as you can see the Prometheus dashboard. Okay. Now after that it's done. Okay. Now let's go to the third step, which is install Grafana. So as you know how to install Grafana. So first of all, we need to import the GPG keys, right? Used by the Grafana package. So I'm going to use wget command to import my GPG keys. Then after that, add the Grafana repository to the APD sources. So yes, enter to continue. So 
So as you can see, it's done. Okay. After that, let's update our system package. And after that, it's time to install Grafana. So I'm going to clear my screen first and I'm going to install Grafana. So yes, I want to install. So it's installing Grafana. So to install Grafana, it takes few seconds to install. Yep, it's done. So let's clear the screen first. I'm going to clear my screen first. And after that here, let's start the Grafana server. After that, let's enable the Grafana. Okay. And now, Let's access Grafana in browser. So as you know how to access, so first of all, you need to copy your instance IP. Then the Grafana port number is 3000. So as you can see, the login page is loading. So as you know, the username and password of Grafana, so the default username and password of Grafana is admin and password also admin. As you can see, click on login, enable. And now enter new password and confirm new password for security. So you need to update your password for security. So, but as of now, I'm going to skip this option. Okay, so as you can see, welcome to Grafana. That means we have successfully installed Grafana. Okay, okay, it's done. Now let's go to the fourth steps. The fourth step is we need to create user group and user for Grafana. So for Prometheus. So now after the installation of Prometheus and Grafana is done, let's create user group and user for Prometheus. So let's create a user group first. And then let's create user group and user for Prometheus. Okay, it's done. Now it's done. We have successfully created user group and user for Prometheus. Now it's time to go to the download and install Redis exporter. So how to download and export? So you need to install the Redis exporter using the following command. So let's install using curl command. Okay. Now after that, here we need to extract this file. Okay. Let's move this exporter into this location, particular location, this user local bin. And now, if you want to check the details of your radius version, then you can check the details, right? So now I'm going to clear the screen. Okay, it's done. We have successfully installed the radius exporter. Okay, now after that here, after that, we have successfully installed the Redis exporter. After that, we need to configure in Redis exporter service. So, how to configure? So, we need to create a service for Redis exporter. So, we need to go to this particular location that system this system Redis exporter dot service file. So, we need to edit this file. Sorry, we need to create this file, and in this file, we need to add this content, which content for Redis server. Sorry, for Redis service. Okay. Let's save the file. Escape colon wq examination. Okay, it's done. After that, we need to enable the service. We need to reload the service and we need to start our Redis server. Sorry, Redis exporter. So let's enable and now let's start. And as you know, if you want to check the status, then you can run the status command also. It's active run. It's done. We have successfully installed a Redis exporter also. Okay. It's done. Okay. Now, after that, okay. So, it's done. We have successfully installed Redis server also. Okay. After that, now it's time for, to go to the next step. The next step is we need to configuring Redis exporter endpoint in Prometheus configuration. So first of all, we need to insert these Prometheus. Okay, so let's insert the Prometheus. And here we need to edit this Prometheus configuration file. 
So I'm going to use this pseudo nano editor. And in this configuration file, we need to add one more job here. First of all, you can see here, for here only one job, right? Which job? The job name is Prometheus. So we need to add one more job here. The second job name is, as you can see, Redis. Okay. So we need to add this second job here with the name Redis. So here, you need to care for about indentation, right? That indentation means space, right? Okay. So correct. If you add extra space, then you will have error. You can see the job name is Redis, right? And the static config, then targeting, target localhost, and the port number is 9121, okay? So now I'm going to save this file and exit. And after that, after any uh, changes, any configuration file, you need to restart the service, okay? Okay, now let's change the status. It's running. Now let's go to the Prometheus. And let's refresh the page, go to the status, go to the targets. Now, wait a second. As you can see, the state is up, right? And as you can see here, we have two jobs, okay? So here we need to enter the localhost only, localhost and the port number, okay? That is job name, then static config con and target in target localhost 9121. Okay, so it's done. Now after that, after that, the next step is you need to, if you want to check the uh, Redis exporter, right? So as you can see, you can run the public IP, your instance public IP and your port number 9121. So I'm going to copy my instance IP and hit on browser and the Redis exporter port number is 9121. Portrait is 9121. So as you can see, Redis exporters, you can see the matrix, right? So that's the matrix. Okay. So it's done, right? Now the next step is here. Now the next step and the last step is we need to setting up Grafana dashboard for Redis matrix. So now in the query section here, first of all, okay. We need to add here setting up Grafana dashboard for Redis matrix. So how to matrix? So first of all, we need to go back to the Grafana welcome page. So let's go to the Grafana page here. Okay. So here we need to click on this menu bar and click on this connections. Okay. So here. So first of all, here we need to connect this data source. Sorry. Go to the home page, click on these connections, click on these data sources, click on this data source, select Prometheus. And after that here, let's scroll down and you need to enter the URL, right? So let's enter the URL of Prometheus. Okay, and after that, click on this seven test. It's done. Okay, now here you can start your own new dashboard by adding a visualization. So let's go to the home page, and here click on this plus button and click on this here. Add or dashboard. You can click on this option. So here also go to these connections. Okay, so here, let's click on this new dashboard. Okay, after that, as you can see, start your new dashboard by adding the visualization. So click on this add visualization. Okay, so after that, select this Prometheus as a default. Okay, so as you can see, you will see the edit panel. Okay, so first of all here, let's enter a query section. Okay, so as you can see, here is a query section. So first of all, let's enter a matrix. So here I mentioned, as you can see now in a query section, add a query one. Okay, so this is my A query. So I'm going to copy this query and paste in this matrix. 
And as you can see, first of all, select instance and select value for this 9090 for this Prometheus, right? So let's copy. So let's click here. So local was 9090. Okay. So that's the first query. Okay. Click on this add query. Now the another query is here. Okay. So select this second query metrics, second B query. Ready CPU user seconds total. And click on this, select this. After that, here I'm going to select the job and the job is ready. Okay. Now let's run this two query. Click on run query. So that's the first query. As you can see, the job Prometheus job radius as right here. We have said here job added our radius jobs. So that's why, as you can see, the uh, go this duration seconds, some total and total some. For Prometheus, the total radius, then user CPU total for this 9121, this radius, right? Okay. After that here, if I click on this. Okay. So, here if you want to check the graph, so as you can see. Okay. Let's start again. Uh, matrix then select job Prometheus you can see the details we want to check the graph so as you can see if you want to check the another graph so you can choose from here right so that's it So here, in this session, we have learned how to monitor radius with Prometheus and Graphnar. So in this session, first of all, we have installed radius, right? As you can see, we have installed radius on Ubuntu, then we have installed Prometheus on Ubuntu. After that, we have installed Graphnar on Ubuntu, then we have created a user group for Prometheus, then we have installed and downloaded radius exporter. After that, we have configured this Redis exporter service. Then we have configured Redis exporter endpoints in Prometheus configuration. And in last, we are setting up the Grafana dashboard for Redis metrics and that's the reason. So that's it. So in this session, we have learned how to monitor Redis feed Prometheus and Grafana. So thank you for watching.